What up, YouTube? Your boy, Big C, at you. New Salon Care coming at you. Hey, I'm just doing some uh, maintenance. You know, maintenance on different uh, lawn care uh, tools and items or whatever today. It's been raining here in Chicago on and off. Um, today is Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, the weekend. Uh, or the week before Mother's Day, May 12th. I want to say Happy Mother's Day to all my mothers out there. Uh, but I wanted to just show y'all a few things. Uh, this is for my lawn care guys that has open trailers. I know a lot of a lot of guys here in Chicago or in Illinois they have closed trailers, but I haven't got to that to get a closed trailer yet. So I have an open trailer. Uh, and then I did. Um, I'm gonna show you a little trick that I learned and uh, I'm gonna show you on my edger how I replaced the blade. It was time for me to replace the blade. Uh, I got a multi connection. I forgot what they call it, multi connection, uh, echo um, and I'll show it to you. But I had to change the blade on my uh, edging connect connector. Uh, it also, I can, I got a, the other connection I got is um, uh, to trim the bushes, you know, the extender, uh, so I can flip out to trim bushes or I can do my straight edger. Uh, so let me flip this camera real quick and I'm gonna show you uh, the little stuff I did on my trailer and what I did to my edger. All right, hold on. So if you see right here, see how the paint is knocked off and stuff? That's from it hitting on the bare metal of the uh, the trailer rack holder right so i went and purchased you know some people that's like diabetics or can't close their hands and stuff it's a little tube you can put on like different stuff so they can hold it better so it comes in 18 inches so i i cut three uh three three inch pieces i made me a cushion see right here on my trailer cushion so when i'm riding down the street see how i just hit that cushion so it won't tap my what's the names and i know yeah y'all say hey you need to get that other one where it has the little piece on there you just slide it on there look this is more economical for me and so i don't have another trimmer but when i do put one up here i have a cushion so it won't hit against here um so that's how i do it and so I really don't use that curve edge anymore. I got it, put it as a backup. Uh, it's not as heavy duty as the straight edge. And one thing I did notice, cause I watched the video on YouTube, it's harder when people park close to the curb for you to edge that curb cause of the, 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 the bend in the, what's the name? So that's why I really invested in the straight edge. I barely, I ain't gonna say I barely use it, but I use it for like those new customers that really ain't had an edge or I get my returning customers that it's like their edge disappear over the winter time. So I use it like at least once or twice on that new customer or on that, that uh, returning customer to just set the edge for the rest of the year. And once you set that edge, then you can come right behind it with your trimmer and trim through the whole season. Uh, I did pick up little tips from... Uh, like my boy Freddie, he said uh, from Lawn Thumbs, uh, you can't use these these stick edgers when it's, the ground is wet. It's got to be pretty much, the dirt got to be dry. Or you're going to have mud, as you can see in my edger, I'm going to show you in a few, where you have caked up mud that builds up in the little housing. And uh, I'm going to show you what I also, once I show you this edge, edger, I'm going to show you what I also did to my trailer. Because... Uh, one of my uh, trimmers, I had to replace the whole shaft because when your um, when your uh, trailer bounce up and down on the because we got we got potholes here in Chicago. I don't know about nowhere else, but we got some serious potholes. When your trailer bounce up and down and them edges shake and you don't have any cushion on the holder that holds them. It will knock dents and stuff because these shafts is nothing but aluminum. They not steel, they aluminum. So it knocks dents in them. And after you mark, knock so many dents, it will break 
that that shaft you know the the the, the what's the name part but i'm gonna show you on this edger uh everything so hold on all right so shout out to my boy blades of grass johnny blades of grass he told me about this blade about a year or two ago this the oregon right here i'm gonna have to get the number model number for you um uh, oregon 4-002 these blades are the bomb it cuts an edge that's so beautiful I was using the original, if you can see, this is the original Echo Blade that came on my attachment, but you see I just replaced it with that Oregon Gator Blade, I think they call it. But see, yeah, it's my multi connection, uh, multi, you know, I could change the heads on it. But yeah, I just flipped out this with the Oregon, and I, I usually try to keep about five or six of these in my garage of my arsenal so I can change them out. But since Johnny Blaze of Grass told me about this blade, it is phenomenal, it is. Because I had the curve edge, which I don't use anymore. Um, and I'll show it to you over here on the wall. I have a curve edge echo sitting there, which I don't really use anymore, but I'm gonna remount my um, straight, you know, straight stick edger, and but it's gonna have a cushion now, so I won't tear up the shaft and have to pay to get it replaced. But yeah, if y'all can, I'm gonna put the link below of the little cushions I got, and I got a whole pack of them, you know, just in case I have to replace it. I tried to use that foam that you put around. Uh, you know, half inch pipes and wrap some tape around it didn't work. They was popping off. So I did find that on Amazon and yeah, you can use that and just cushion your, your, uh, your, um, trimmers or your ed stick edgers. So it won't beat up on the shaft of them. Um, but yeah, just check that out. The link be is below and subscribe and like this video please new salon care at you just a little di diy tip for all my lawn care guys holla back at you